Hello and a very, very good evening. My name's Sean Ryan. You are, of course, watching the Planet Cruise TV show. It's lovely to be I've just come back from a cruise with Celebrity. I'll tell you about that. I forgot to have a little bit later on, but it was incredible. And we would love all of our regulars and all of our new viewers to book a cruise tonight. We've got some amazing offers. And I'm joined by a great old friend of mine. In fact, a friend that's a year older today. <laughs> Happy birthday, Keith Maynard. Nice, nice to see you, Nice to see you as well, Sean. Thank you. Before I forget, Keith... Um, yeah. We were going to get you a cake, but we know you're on a diet, so we've got you that instead, OK? <laughs> so happy birthday. Can you enjoy that after the show? On a diet. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's what we're doing. No, that's really kind of you. Thank you so much. No expense I will, spare, Keith. I will really enjoy biting into that later. <laughs> is, it, is it poisoned, like in Snow White? No, no, no. It's the freshest you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it gives for views that don't know you. Um, you actually worked on the cruise ships for many years, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, 12 years. I uh, worked as a cruise director. worked for three, three gate companies. The last one was Cunard, and my last ship was the Queen Mary too. So I've been Lo to these ports. Loads of experience. Yeah. And Planet Cruise, I mean, this is an incredible company, an award-winning company. It just won some more awards, I gather, as well, recently. Yeah, lo loads of awards. In fact, uh, you know, Carnival UK was the world's biggest cruise line. Recently had an awards ceremony, and, uh, and we got uh, kind of a top agent award for, you know, for the big six of their, of their brands. Wow. We'll, we'll go into that a little bit later. We've also got a 96% feedback rating. Uh, um, which is fantastic uh, from FIFO and beyond that as well um, like myself everyone that works for us actually has a background in the industry because they cruise regularly or they've actually worked on ships so you always get information from the horse's mouth and um Tonight's show, we've mm. got some cracking deals, haven't we? Absolutely amazing. Really good. Just a little taste of it. Well, a chance to go and, uh, go and see the solar eclipse from the Indonesian islands, uh, sailing in between uh, Suwasi and Borneo. You've got a, a wonderful Caribbean cruise, two weeks with P&O, uh, which is uh, 849. Two weeks eight in the Caribbean. 849. 849. We've got a great singles deal for seven, uh, just, just over £700. Perfect That's for you, Maritime. of course. Perfect for me. Thanks for that. Um, so <laughs> loads, loads to tempt you with, but we're going to start off with a, an amazing offer with Cruise and Maritime. And let's show you what's included on this one. Now, it's a, it's a new late saver offer, and it is down to £469 per person. Uh, that's the lead price there. It's the maiden season of their new adult-only ship, so you're going to be uh, one of the first to sail on her. She's just been acquired by the company. And we have got, as Keith mentioned, some great single prices. This one has a single special from only £729. And what is uh, so nice about this one, it's actually sailing from Newcastle. We've also got similar sailings available from Dundee as well on the 5th of April. And that was only 489 as well. And this is a, a beautiful chance for you to visit the gorgeous fjords. And I have to say, I cruised around them uh, last year and they were outstanding. So let's take you on board and just have a little look at Cruise and Maritime. Yes, yeah, a fantastic British cruise company and uh, they, uh, they were bought in 2010, they were great in 2010. So uh, again, a, 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 you know, a, a relative new company but they are getting fantastic feedback and it's a real kind of family feel on board the cruises. These are, these are not huge ships, these are really a little bit more intimate and that allows them to get into these fantastic beautiful fjords as well uh, and this is the latest edition they've just acquired the ship so it's the latest uh, addition to their fleet of course as well and one thing that we know is that you will really really be looked after beautifully and you can see here uh, great facilities Keith yeah absolutely fantastic the great thing about cruise and maritime is the fact that they are um, a British cruise company, everything's on Sterling on board, and beyond that, it's, it's a very, it's a very peeled back experience. So they've got a load of great arts and crafts stuff on oh, there. Really? So really nice. good people that watch Idea World a lot, particularly our arts and crafts channel. Um, you've got some great guest speakers. You've got a really friendly ship, and again, because cruising so social, that's why this particular company works so well because you will get to make friends, you'll get to see people, you'll get to meet people. And this isn't all gimmicky cruising. This isn't kind of big, you know, kind of um, huge kind of ice rinks and, and rock walls. This is taking it back to the simples. Great service, really good food, and an amazing itinerary. And um, what is nice as well, this is great for our northern viewers. If you're northern like I am, because this actually uh, cruises out of Newcastle. It does, it? it does. And we get a lot of requests, of course, for anything that's flying out of Manchester or yeah. getting a chance to cruise out of the north. Because so. I mean, Southampton's great, but if you live, obviously, nor you know, in the north, it's yeah, a little absolutely. bit North of Watford, you need, need options. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> here we go. So from Newcastle, here we go. Yeah, OK. So we're, we're sailing out of Newcastle. Uh, we're sailing out of Newcastle over to um, Dundee in Scotland, Scotland's fourth largest city. A really rare opportunity. Now, this is a shopper's paradise, particularly Murraygate, uh, Wellgate, and these 
the wonderful Ovengate shopping centre. However, for me, it's all about heading out and, uh, and enjoying uh, the Discovery, which is Captain Scott's famous ship. You can look around that. Uh, you can also stretch your legs, go for a walk uh, by these beautiful tranquil locks. Um, you can head out into Four Far Country uh, and see some of the stunning beaches that, that lie in this particular region as well, particularly the golden sands of Montrose Beach. The Montrose clan, of course, big in this area. You can go skiing, canoeing, rock climbing, mountain biking. Uh, it's amazing. So loads and loads to do in Dundee. But you have never been there. Is that ridiculous? It's beautiful. I, I had an ex-girlfriend from Dundee. Um, relaxing day at sea before we then go on to there Alvik. Go. And uh, Alvik, of course, is, is great. It's right at the edge of the Alvik Fjord. It's a beautifully, again, like the all of Norway is framed by this backdrop of huge snow uh, snow top mountains and you've got these pretty like almost like model villages they're so small that cling to the, the side of the mountains here um, it's in the heart of one of Norway's largest fruit growing districts so you can actually go and do a tour of a local cider factory uh, of course they produce a lot of apples and you can go and do some lovely Norwegian cider which is sweet and stunning and also a great chance for you to head out to the uh, Vollingfossen waterfall that we saw an image of before Norway's most popular uh, natural attraction when it comes to waterworks. Okay, from here we're then going through to Flom. Um, this is, means little translated, as you know, uh, Sean, and you've been there, the little place between steep oh, mountains. It was amazing. You, you described this to me many times, Keith, but yeah. like, it was it, you know, even better. Than it is, and this is the whole thing with the fjords. You yeah. cannot, we cannot do justice to this part of the world. You really can't. You have to go and experience it. You have to go and see it. I've done it so many times. I'm doing it again in May, and I can't wait because there's always something else to see. And I did the Flom Railway here. This is one of the world's steepest railways, yeah. hugging the side. It's beautiful. You can also, uh, from here, here go out uh, to Omrudel and see all the goats and how they make the goat's cheese in Norway, which I loved, and also the white caves of Kudvangen, which you can venture down into. Classical music, lighting shows, and huge stalactites. It's an incredible experience. Okay, from Flom, we're going through to Bergen. Uh, the great thing here is the old Hansi 8 Wolf, uh, with these wonderful, narrow, beautifully coloured buildings that are quite eerie as you walk in between them. You can take the funicular up to Mount Florian. I know I, I recommended you to do that, Sean, and, and you enjoyed the walk back down through the nature oh, and the views. I, honestly, it was one of the best best cruises I've ever had, and it was one that I I, I don't think I've maybe done it without seeing it on the show. But. Absolutely, because you don't necessarily know these places are so beautiful until you get a chance to to see them, uh, photographs like this, and get the suggestion. And the great thing about Bergen as well is you can go out to Lake Nordas and see Edvard Grieg's wonderful home, who was one of the Norway's greatest composers. Right, uh, so uh, the day the case. yeah, lots to do on board the ship, of course, which is beautiful, and uh, and then back to Newcastle. Uh, now let's have a look at the ship, say, uh, she's an adult only ship, isn't she? She is an adult only ship, that's great, yeah, and uh, again, very, you know, what we'd say small in cruising terms now, and that's good, you know, you're looking at, you're looking at 16,000 tons, only 550 passengers, what are we talking about here? We're talking about meeting people more than once, we're about making friends, friends for life, and again, because cruising is so social, because you only unpack once, you see all these destinations, you make friends not only with the crew, but with other people. And you, you will, you, I know you're going to have the best time, and we have got a new late say off on this don't forget 469 pounds per person and uh, just give you an idea of the, the the prices that we have got available um so prices starting exceptionally low there on the single uh, on the single price as well 729 but we've got prices from around about 475 pounds up to uh 529 pounds there on the uh, 4th of april so really good prices great upgrades available as well and don't forget Every uh, cruise is just a phone call. It's a free phone number, 0800 840 1088, or, of course, our website as well. And our, our call centre open till about 10.30 tonight, Keith? Yep, yep. Um, and great, great opportunity. I think actually tonight it's 11 o'clock. A bit later now, bit, isn't it? It's yeah. 11 o'clock tonight, so great chance to get in touch and book your cruise because they don't hang around, do they? They tend to kind of go very quickly. And as Keith mentioned, really great cruise consultants. They're really experienced and they can talk you through. In fact, we're going to meet one of those a little bit later on. Chris is going to be joining us on the sofa a little bit later on. And every cruise night has its own ID number, doesn't it, as well, Keith? Yeah. It makes it easy. It's a set number that you can, you can type into the website. And, and because of that, you then find you can go straight on the, when you get onto the website, straight to the cruise that you want to look for. Or when you ring up, you can give it to the sales agent, uh, one of our wonderful team, and again, they'll know exactly the cruise that you want to so look for. So this one is uh, 87534. You can see that, can't you, Keith? I could, yeah, I can see that. I could just, I'm not that old, Sean. It's only, <laughs> yeah, it's younger than me. I'm only a day older than yesterday. <laughs> Still 20 years younger than you. Okay. But, um, <laughs> it makes it easy for you when you're actually booking your cruise as well, if you're checking out for more details of the ships and more information on our website as well. But anyway, we're going to go to... 
the Planet Cruise Call Centre right now and speak to George. Hey there, George. Hey guys, how are you? You okay? Hey, We're great, thank you, Josh. I gather you've got some red hot cruise news for us. We have, mate. Yeah, we've got some big news. We've just got a new deal just come out this evening. The uh, phone's already going mad for it already. Royal Caribbean are having a sell off this evening. 15th of May, uh, eight night cruise departing from Southampton. Uh, they're selling this one, check this out, inside at 699 per person. Um, outside at 899, or you can upgrade to the balcony free of charge, 899. Wow. Also on this one as well, they're including drinks. $150 on board spend and uh, the tips are half price as well. So it's a brilliant, brilliant deal and that's really, really busy at the moment. And that's just that's just come on, on, on today, has it? It's literally just come out now. We've just been in the office, they've announced it now. Royal Caribbean have given us the information and uh, already we're taking bookings. So did it's you, just Did flying, you say drinks flying. as well there? <laughs> Sorry? You no, said that... drinks? Uh, drinks included on that one. Drinks, yeah. uh, $150 on board spend, which is about £100. Half price tips on there as well. 6 99 inside wow. or upgrade for a couple of hundred quid to the balcony for 8 99 And that's eight nights on the 15th of May this year. Yeah, on the uh, Explorer of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. Brilliant. Wow, I bet it, it, but it's going really quick, yeah, George? The, f the phone's already going, so uh, I'm going to have to go in a minute, I think. Okay. <laughs> right, George, we'll let you get back to the, uh, say, to the phone lines, but thank you so much for that. So what, one of the benefits of a live show, when something happens, we're there, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we, we, can, we can react to it straight away, which is fantastic. I mean, what a great deal. I mean, that's wow. just been launched. All them drinks as well. That's what, it's great, well, isn't for it? Ca for Royal Caribbean, that's a fantastic yeah. price as well. But you can hear there, George has said it's selling really, really quickly. It's just coming right now. Please give us a call if you want to book that and secure your place before we get mm. more sellouts. But we've got another amazing cruise for you coming next. Keith and I, we've presented this show for many, many years. And whenever we get to a cruise on the Caribbean, I've just come back from the Caribbean. I will shut up about it, I promise you. But <laughs> to get a cruise in a, for the Caribbean under £1,000 yeah. is always incredible. This one is eight. Four nine, isn't Eight it? four nine with some amazing ports uh, with P and O as well. Well, let's take you on board. Fresh from her multi-million pound refit, P and O's Ventura was launched in April 2008 by Helen Mirren. She marked an exciting new direction for P and O cruises, and is a large, beautiful, contemporary, and family-friendly ship with bags of character and a more informal onboard vibe that's making her a firm favourite with many passengers. One thing is for sure, you certainly won't go thirsty. With its emphasis on catering for today's British tastes, Ventura hosts numerous watering holes, from the visually stunning panoramic video wall of the Metropolis through to a traditional pub, The Exchange. But this is my absolute hands-down favourite, Ollie Smith's new Glass House wine bar. It's a relaxed and stylish setting with tasty food available and also these wonderful flights where you can try lots of different new wines. With club or freedom dining on offer and a 24-hour buffet, you have real flexibility and you really can make the cruise fit your schedule. The recent refit also saw Atul Couture's Asian-inspired restaurant East added to Ventura's culinary arsenal. And when you do go, make sure you try the 24-hour slow-cooked lamb rendang. With four pools, a massive sports deck, special celebrity sailings, a new behind-the-scenes backstage tour, the biggest gym and spa in the fleet. There is loads to do on board Ventura other than just relax with a good book and top up your tan. But it's in the evening that this ship really comes alive. Vibrant West End style shows with exciting UK guest acts play twice nightly in the arena theatre. Then there's the excellent light entertainment which takes place in both the Havana Show Lounge and also the Tamarind Club. But what I like most is this stunning new atrium with this wonderful dance floor. The accommodation is bright, spacious and full of designer touches. There are big suites that can cater for up to a family of six through to these new single cabins that are a great cost-effective option for solo travellers like myself. I know you had a great time on board, didn't you? Yeah, love P&O. I, mean, like, I think you are getting better with the age, by the way, Keith. You look better now than you did there, so <laughs> birth is not a bad thing, uh, Exactly, it? you see. It's, all this, <laughs> it's working with you, Sean. It keeps me young, you know. <laughs> but um, wonderful ships with P&O, years of experience. Yeah, uh, 175 years of experience. Uh, they've you know, been taking people around the world in, you know, in luxury and, and great entertainment with P&O, of course. And it's, it's that familiar environment that you get when you cruise. Mm. You get a chance to go to these amazing places, but you come back to a safe, familiar environment every now, night. Now, talking of amazing places... I'm 
mean, I've just come up from a cruise from the Caribbean. It's one of my favourite destinations. Guaranteed great weather. And this starts off with a flight over to Barbados, doesn't it? Barbados, I know. And the great thing you can do here, of course, is we can give you an extra night uh, just for £50. Really? Pounds. really? Yeah, if you fly, you fly a night earlier and then you get an extra night on the ship in Barbados. And the reason I'd say to do that oh, is because definitely. if you don't do that, you probably won't get a chance to properly explore Barbados. So it's a really good opportunity because it is known as Little England for a reason. It is a beautiful, magical Calypso Isle. Um, so I would definitely do that. Only £50. Pounds. It's a bit of a no-brainer. OK, we're then heading out for 13 nights cruising once you've flown out there. And your first port of call is St Lucia. Um, and it's an incredible place. So we're moving on to St Lucia here. This is the home of the Pitons, or as the locals call them, the, the breasts of the island. And they're incredible. You know, it kind of reminds you of Madonna, a bit Madonna-esque when you see them picture. And it's great. You can cruise around them. You can climb up them. It's got the world's only drive through volcano uh, known as uh, Sulphur Springs, which is incredible. Um, I love the local markets where you can go and haggle, get loads of jewellery. Of course, like all the Caribbean, you can get great diamonds and precious stones. Rodney Bay is a great place if you want to go and uh, just kind of kick back, get a few strawberry daiquiris, a few rum cocktails and lie back on the beach. And there's also a wonderful chance for you to enjoy uh, the Treetop Adventure Park, which is literally like a, a huge um, ride that takes you over the treetops, looking down into the jungle. It's like a, it's like a dog of jungle stuck into the, into the ocean. It's an incredible place. OK, um, then we're going to head out to St Kitts. Now, St Kitts, this is now jagged volcanoes and azure and turquoise seas and again you get a myriad of shades this is, this is sugarcane country it was a very very big earner uh, you know for old colonial colonial britain with all the sugar coming back over and it's an incredible place um you've got the brimstone hill fortress um which, you know, which is kind of the gibraltar of the west indies you've got the scenic railway which is probably one of the best ways to get around the island in about three or four hours it goes around the rims of volcanoes and through the rolling sugar uh, sugar fields you get a chance to go to romney manor the oldest sugar plantation on the island and again you just see this the old the old mills here the old kind of where the old windmills were it's an incredible vista could we, do, could we quite lazy and just go to some of the beaches? Absolutely. Pinney's, pin, <laughs> Pinney's Beach, three miles yeah. long. Absolutely. Okay. Um, you know, uh, there's also great things like Turtle Beach and Black Sand Beach is like Pump Bay as well for you to enjoy. So if that's what the Caribbean is for you, um, then definitely, definitely um, just go and enjoy some of the beaches. OK, we're going to come out of this now and we're going to move on to Tortola. And uh, this is beautiful. This is nature really is the star attraction here. Great chance for you to go and enjoy places like Apple Bay and Smuggler's Cove. Tortola is where pirates like Blackbeard uh, you to operate out of you know this was a pirate's haven it's full of loads of little nooks and crannies um, and you've got a great chance to go and see the dolphins at prospect reef i, I dived with them there and swam with them it's brilliant uh, virgin gorda is the big attraction here uh, it's one of the must sees clusters of sea pools and huge rocks and tunnels and caves and arches very romantic uh, you can see me there walking along the beach with one of my exes uh, just <laughs> one. soaking up the uh, soaking up the one you know. of the many exes there yeah um, <laughs> now what is really nice we then get several days at sea and when you're on board a beautiful ships such as Aventura, these days are really special, Keith. Aren't yeah, they? they really are because there's so much to do, Sean. Remember, with a cruise, all your entertainment, all your food is included. That's so massive. You, know, you don't get that in a hotel back in the UK. That's why there's such good value. And then we're stopping in. It's not over because you're stopping in at Ponta del Garda. This is like Eden. This is beautiful. Look at this. It's incredible. It's the land that time forgot. It's part of Portugal's Azures, this unique island group with rolling hills, expansive lakes. The only tea plantations in the whole of Europe, definitely go and try them. In fact, the local tea pudding that you get in the restaurants is beautiful um, and of course this is a great chance for you to go out hiking um, and literally the whole place is laced with walking trails as you can imagine um, I would love to go on more and more about it but I would definitely say go to a local restaurant try some fish and some tea pudding and pineapple there's great pineapples here as well don't forget you've still got your apple tweet at the end of the show. I know, show, I can't wait now. I'm so uh, excited. A, a few final days at sea and <laughs> back to Southampton. We, honestly, Keith and I, we, we do know, you know, the cruise industry very well between the pair of us. Whenever you see a Caribbean cruise at this kind of price, you have to grab it. And it is flying, we will let you know. We, we, we know that yeah. there have been many of you already booked this. This is what's included, 849 you get your return flight, of course. And actually, we've got to mention, um, they're not just London-based, Birmingham or Manchester No, this, well. again, this makes this deal such good value for money. For, you know, for no extra cost, you've got a chance to go from Gatwick, Birmingham or Manchester, which is really, really good. £400 off brochure price. I mean, it's, it's a crazy price, Sean. It really is. And, and don't forget... Um, as, as Keith said, add that extra night on board in Barbados from only £50 per person. I would definitely do that to get that extra night in the sun. So the one other thing that people often forget is in that journey, which you're going to the Azures, you're going to get loads of really lovely weather as well. So those days are. at sea, you're out on deck, cocktail in hand. Ooh, oh, lovely. Um, don't forget really that special nice. ID number there, 84428. But there's a real urgency for that one. It is selling very, very quickly, we heard earlier. Very, very quickly. 
But we're going to move on now to uh, our next cruise. Before we do that, we'd love you to stay in touch with us. And there are various ways you can do that. You can sign up to our newsletter. You can call now to get your free copy of our journey brochure. Or you can check out our brand new website. The website is brilliant. It's so user friendly. It's so easy. And all the cruises have got their special ID number today. Just type in that ID number. You'll be able to find those instantly and get more uh, information about any of those. But what is so nice uh, is that all of the cruise consultants that you speak to, they're all very, very knowledgeable, dedicated. And we're joined by one of them right now, our fabulous Chris. Nice to see you again. Hello, nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a few, uh, yeah, few months, actually. But I know you've worked with Planet Cruise for many, many years. And also, you worked on board the ships, didn't you, originally? Yes, yeah. Four years on board. Loved every minute of it. I bet you did. I, 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 if I was younger, I'd do that now. I really would. I'd love to work on the cruise ships. Um, for views that have never booked through Planet Cruise, I hear you've just won a, another award. Yes, that's right. Two awards. Yes, from uh, Princess. In fact, this is the deal we're going to be talking about in just a second. They uh, voted us most outstanding agent. Can wow. you beat that? You know? <laughs> so do really, really well. It gives, it, again, it gives our new viewers real trust in Planet Cruise as a brand. And yeah, you're going to be talking about our Princess Cruise, aren't you? Right. Yeah, this one is uh, very popular, just as all of them that we show on this TV show. This is going to be uh, Princess's newest ship. This is the uh, Regal Princess, and uh, it's going to be sailing out on the 4th of June. I just want to tell you a little bit about this ship. This is going to be... Um uh, it was inaugurated in 2014, so less than a year old. Wow. Uh, it's the sister ship to the Royal Princess as well. Oh, yeah, she's beautiful, isn't she? Right. We see, we see her right now. Exactly. One thing that uh, is special about it is the large size sanctuary that you're seeing right there. This is uh, an adults only area, it incorporates the spa. Look at this beautiful little dipping pool there just for adults. The best thing about it is that atrium. Look at the size of that atrium. Absolutely stunning. It's the real hub of the ship, I'd say. Uh, there are bars, cafes off the centre of that. It's the centre of the action, definitely. And there's these spontaneous performances that happen with Princess as well, isn't there? Like you might get a, a sword swallower suddenly turning up or, uh, you know, someone impromptu just, you know, sing your song. That's right, yeah. You never know what you're going to get in that uh, yeah. atrium. It's, it's the centre. Uh, it holds 3,500 guests as well, so it's a really nice size. You get to meet a lot of people. The service is uh, two to one, as you'd expect to see on a, a five-star cruise line. Um, you know, the food is absolutely impeccable as well with Princess. They really pride themselves on their food quality. And, and looking here, I mean, just spectacular. Yeah, this, what, what, that's what? the fountain show. That, that, that's right. every night. They have this every night. And um, it's, it's incredible because it happens on the sister ship as well. Yeah, that's right. And Chris will tell you this, but I know that the ship was christened by the cast of a love boat, wasn't it? Yeah, that's exactly right. You know? Really? So, yeah, the old cast of a love boat, that wonderful show of the 1970s. Yeah. They brought them all back. <laughs> <laughs> Dug them up. You but, know. but, you know, we know that anyone that's booking this cruise, they're going to be absolutely overwhelmed with the beauty of this ship. That's right, yeah, there's so much to do as you'd expect on any of the ships. One nice little thing is they have the, the movie Under the Stars. If you're relaxing on a nice summer's evening, they bring out the sofas, you can get a glass of wine and watch a movie Under the Stars there, really nice. And there's nothing like, you know, I mean, all ships are very well maintained in general, but when it's a new ship, it's just, you know, there's crisp you know, sheets, fresh oh, paints, mm -hmm. gorgeous. And a TV studio. They've got a live TV studio on there as well, Princess Live. So you can, uh, you know, you can oh, be part of a studio audience. Say, you've been nuzzling your way in there, haven't you, Keith? No. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> any, 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 any chance to dig in? You know what I mean? Apples, <laughs> elbows. Sorry, Keith. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's lovely to be working with them again. I'm only joking. We, we're great buddies. But anyway, let's uh, let's show you the great itinerary with this one as well. It's mm. quite exciting, isn't it, Keith? Yeah, it really, really is. Um, so we're going over to Copenhagen. Now, the great thing about cruising the Baltic is quite often you have to do those two days across the North Sea. Uh, you know, you get active with this. No. You're flying into Copenhagen. You're in the heart of the action, and then you're getting off for 11 nights on this beautiful ship. Oslo is your first port of call, and you just want to imagine forest clad slopes plummeting into this island studded fjord. Um, it's absolutely incredible. It's Scandinavia's oldest capital city, it's the commercial heart of Norway, um, and it's a great opportunity for you to dock right by Akershaw's Castle that you just saw there, which gives you great views down the fjord and also of the, uh, of the whole of the place itself. Now, Vichman Park is beautiful, it's loads of huge sculptures that you can go and explore it's just on the edge of town. It's a town full of museums with a massive waterfront and when you do go around there I would recommend going to the National Gallery seeing the screen that wonderful picture in, in its original form uh, maybe heading out to see the Viking ships or going to a Nobel Peace um, Prize uh, set, uh, uh, museum which is absolutely wonderful and really gives you the history of that wonderful project uh, and again as you sail out you're going to sail back out through Oslo Fjord so make sure you're on deck for the arrival and for leaving
Okay, then we're going to Gothenburg, uh, Sweden's second largest city. Uh, really beautiful network of gracious canals lined with elegant buildings. Uh, really lovely place to go and relax. Uh, full of beautiful Swedish people as well that you, uh, you, know, you can't complain about that. Then we're going to the next day, we're going through to Berlin. This is Germany. This is Vornemunde is the port itself. Um, and Vornemunde itself is gilded with lots of beautiful by beaches. In fact, the actual centre itself is medieval and you can go and explore it. I'd recommend you doing that. However, the real highlight here is going into Berlin, going and get a chance to tick off all those big sites we've seen the Brandenburg Gate uh, maybe going through and, uh, and seeing the famous wall checkpoint Charlie with the history there of all the great escapes uh, I love the best thing to do here is do a uh, you can do a, a wonderful little tour in little Trabak car the little East East German cars is going around and you can see the parts of East Germany which you wouldn't really know even existed at sea before we then go through to Tallinn in Estonia here you're stepping back into the 1400s it's like a huge medieval storybook where you imagine the brothers Grimm to step around the corner at any moment it's beautiful try and go head to the town square there it is uh, one of the world's oldest weather vanes on the top of that little beautiful building then we're going through to St Petersburg you've got an overnight in St Petersburg and this really is incredible this is Russia this is Russia's window to the west. Uh, the overnight gives you a chance maybe to go to the ballet, um, maybe go and see the Nutcracker or go and see some traditional Russian dancing. The whole city is incredible. As you walk round, you kind of want to, almost it's gingerbread architecture, you kind of want to break it off and eat it with the Church of Blood. Um, you've got an incredible hermitage, you're seeing images of this now with over three million works of art in there and that includes the Winter Palace. And again, great masters like Rembrandt and Titan and many others have, have got paintings there. Um, you can also take a twilight cruise on the River Neva. That's the Church of Blood. That's my favourite building in the whole of St. Petersburg. They store potatoes in there during World War II. It honestly doesn't look real, does it? It doesn't. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's gingerbread. It's... it's gingerbread. And then the great palaces, you know. Uh, go and see how the Romanovs lived it up. You know, head out to the Catherine Palace and that. Okay, then we're going out now to Helsinki, uh, Finland. It's a sea town par excellence. Um, and again, half the city almost seems to be on the water. And you're going to see one big image coming up of the Sumelina Sea Fortress, which is absolutely incredible. Um, great views from there, great picnic spot. And then finally, so much to do in this cruise, Stockholm, Sweden, spread out across 14 islands. Uh, it's my favourite of the ports here. Uh, go and have a Swedish massage, go and try some of the crumble cake, go and see the wonderful Vasa, 95% warship, uh, completed warship. Uh, just wander around, try some local coffees and do the historic rooftop tour, 130 foot above the city. Um, and again, staring out. When you see the, see the map here, you realise that just how much of the world you're seeing on one single holiday. You, you really are, yeah. and that's the great thing, Sean. Because you're flying into Copenhagen, you don't you don't lose a couple of days. You really make the most of your cruise. Uh, and a great price that lead at the fourth of June. And Chris, just remind us of this stunning ship. She's only around about a, well less than a year old. Less than a year, yeah. May it was inaugurated. So uh, you know, even if you were sailing in two years, it would still look as good as new. You know, yeah. it's, uh, there's nothing better than a new ship. And that atrium looks absolutely stunning. Right. I really, I want to go on her. It's got the seawalk as well, which you've seen oh, a couple yes. of times, which, which kind of comes out across the edge of the slip. This thing here. There you go. There's the seawalk, and a kind of glass floor all the way down. And it goes right the way around the edge of the ship. 28 foot beyond the edge of the ship. Wow. Um, okay. Let's show you what's included right now. We've got some great dates all the way from May through to uh, August there. Your return flights, they're including the price there. You've got a wonderful overnight on board in St. Petersburg. Uh, slightly different itineraries depending on the date, but again, just ask our cruise consultants all about those. Talking of which, I want to say a final thank you to Chris. Uh, um, before I do, actually, a lot of you have been asking about the prices. We have got great prices across all of the dates there, and uh, some lovely upgrades to balconies as well. So, you know, again, you can see there, lovely pricing right the way across from May to August. But yeah, I want to say a big thank you to Chris from Planet Cruiser. Chris, I know you, know, you work in the, in, in the call centre, you help our viewers choose their cruises. Right. You know, even if our, our viewers have you know, questions, queries, you're always there to help, aren't you? That's right. You know, uh, this one package that we've tailor-made ourselves. So if you wanted to spend more time in uh, Copenhagen, for example, then we're there for you and we can, we can build around whatever you'd like. Well, Chris, thank you so much. We'll see you again very soon here on the show. It's great to see you again. Uh, don't forget as well, we also have a cruise show live on Friday. Uh, it's 11 a.m. Are you doing this week's Friday show, Keith? Or uh, is it I, our... I'm not on Friday. Is it our Gemma, no. then? It's our Gemma, yeah. absolutely. So Gemma's yeah. going to be with you on Friday at 11 a.m. So uh, do, do tune in there every Friday, 11 a.m. Now, I'd love, to I'd love to spend the next half an hour telling you about my cruise that I had with Celebrity, but I'm not allowed to. But He's already spent an hour and a half telling me about I it. Did. It was the most amazing <laughs> time there, and I, you know, I, I adore Celebrity. Incredible company. Brand. Five star modern luxury, multi award winning. Keith's a big fan as well, and here he is to tell you more.
Launched in 2010 by around the world English yachtswoman Emma Pontin, the multi award winning Celebrity Eclipse is one of the most beautiful and well designed ships I've ever had the pleasure of sailing on. She offers cruisers the very latest in comfort and innovation in a sophisticated and stylish manner. Each one of Eclipse's 12 bars has its own unique feel. You can enjoy the romance of a sail away from the grassy knolls of the Sunset Bar off on the Lawn Club, or try a new wine or two at Cellar Masters. Cocktail lovers will adore the oodles of choice at the very special mixology bar, but if you really want my advice, then you must join the fun here at the Martini Ice Bar. Amazing cocktails, tasty caviar and juggling bartenders. There are ten amazing restaurants to choose from, so as you cruise around the world, so do your taste buds. You can dive into a delicious plate of true rustic Italian cuisine at the Tuscan Grill, devour a plate of filet mignon and the French-themed and Michelin-star quality Muranos. But for something that sums up celebrity in a nutshell, you simply must try cuisine. Cool, contemporary and slightly offbeat, the menu presented on an iPad includes sushi lollipops, lobster escargot, popcorn fish and chips and disco shrimp. Eating has simply never been so much fun. A celebrity cruise offers you the chance to stimulate your mind while having fun and even take home a new skill. Daily enriching opportunities abound with hands-on art classes, Rosetta Stone language courses, engaging public speakers and even the chance to polish your jive or learn Zumba. But best of all is this place, the Lawn Club. Real grass, expansive views, live concerts, lawn bowls, croquet and of course the excellent hot glass show. The plush main theatre on board a Celebrity Eclipse offers cutting-edge shows to rival the West End, Vegas and Broadway with musical theatre tribute shows and song and dance spectaculars. Why not enjoy some wine and cheese while staring at the stars during an alfresco concert on the lawn or take in one of the award-winning European circus shows full of magic and mystery. All of Celebrity Eclipse's staterooms offer true modern luxury. The design is smart and fresh and contemporary and they all offer a great range of sumptuous amenities such as fluffy bathrobes, deluxe toiletries, Egyptian cotton bed linen and complimentary 24-hour room service. From comfortable inside staterooms through to these gorgeous suites which feature floor-to-ceiling windows, panoramic balconies and your own private butler. Wow. You're supposed to save that to the end, mm. Keith, by the way. Uh, Very nice. <laughs> Thank goodness it wasn't a cake. Now, um, <laughs> uh, on a serious note, I just came back from my cruise with celebrities. I was on board the Reflection. There was I was uh, on a tender, just going uh, over uh, to um, to Mexico at that point. But seriously, the experience has been amazing yet again. I n I could not fault a single aspect of the cruise. Again, I was given all tens when I filled in the survey. I had the best time ever, you know. And I feel now, I know it sounds daft, but I need to put my next cruise and have something to look forward to, you know, even if it's in a year's time. You're going to be on this uh, ship yourself in May, aren't you? I'm, I'm there in May, going around the fjords, taking yeah. my dad on, and, and, uh, and, and over 100 of our lovely viewers as well who, uh, who are coming on the, coming on the ship. So we, we know you're going to have a fantastic time with Celebrity, but the itinerary on this one. Yeah, it's great. Oh, my word. So really, talk really great. Spooky. Okay, so um, heading out from Southampton, you've got some relaxing days at sea to enjoy that beautiful ship. As uh, Sean said, five-star modern luxury with Celebrity. So, and I then, mean, these days at Sea, Keith, they're going to be so special, aren't they? Very special indeed, because, again, you've got so much on board, you know, with, with Celebrity. So many different things you can get involved with, learn a new language, you know, get involved with some of the Oceans Ahead presentations, find out about how the ship works. And then you're getting into Boston. Now, actually, this is, in a sense, America's most glamorous city, Sean. It's amazing. Um, it's been around for more than 350 years, which means it's quite old for the States. Um, and it was the heart of the Boston Tea Party, as you know, which, which kind of kicked off the whole of the American Civil War. Um, it's known for its charm. It's known here for its friendly locals, but also grouchy locals. You can actually go to my favourite restaurant. You go there and they're actually quite rude to you. And they, they, they oh, deliberately really? insult you. This? Yeah. yeah, they deliberately insult you as you get the food. It's great. <laughs> um, you can do the Freedom Trail. You follow the red lines down the, down the sidewalk and find out about the history. You can go and visit the bar which, where Cheers was filmed. You know, that wonderful yeah. TV series. Um, and definitely go and try some of the clam chowder. Uh, the clam chowder around here is mwah, divine. Or lobster. Or go to Cambridge and see Harvard University. Go it's and a place see. I, again, it's, it's on my wish list. Then, oh, New, New York. York, yeah, overnight here on board. Incredible chance for you to ins explore this amazing city, the city that never sleeps, the city where you can shop to your drop at Macy's and Bloomingdale's. You know, it's an incredible place. It's, it, it's, it's in a sense, walking around is like stereotypes because you walk around and the construction workers look like construction workers out of all the films. The policemen look like the, the policemen that you see. You know, it's incredible. Everyone's got sunglasses and they kind of look kind of 
Ah, oh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a great experience. When you walk around Central Park, 843 acres, you know, you've got an ice rink in the middle there, you've got loads of parks to enjoy, uh, you see joggers running past, you can go see strawberry fields, the old, of course, to John Lennon. Um, you can go out to Liberty Island and Ennis Island and you can f trace the history. And, and Keith, I'm thinking we're going to be there in the fall, aren't we? Yeah, um, the so colours of the yeah. trees pretty much reflected what you're going to see there. Really, really beautiful. Um, and of course, this is the base to go get cheesecake, get bagels. Boney's Bagels, make a note of that. It's my favourite bagel place in New York. It's incredible. Times Square is, is, is amazing. You stand there and you look up and it's just all happening around you. Take a ride in a yellow cab. They're really, really friendly. And uh, of course, walk along Brooklyn Bridge. Walk the whole bridge. Don't just drive it. You're going to sail under it, but actually walk it. The views are incredible. And then a day at sea and a place that I'm desperate to visit, Bermuda. Once, have you been to Bermuda? Bermuda many times, yeah. yeah. And you've got an overnight here, which is great. Think pink sand, um, think, you know, beautifully crystal uh, seas. Think the fact that the main the main dish that you buy over here is lobster, because there's so much of it in the sea. Spiny lobster. Um, definitely try the Dark and Stormy, which is their local cocktail, rum and ginger beer and lime. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, you'll see the constables directing traffic wearing Bermuda shorts. This is where <laughs> Bermuda shorts comes from. The policemen wear Bermuda shorts. You know, you can head out to the beautiful caves. It's all about the beaches for me. And amazing golf you know you've got uh, you've got more you've got more kind of golf I think it's eight courses in just 22 square miles It's the highest concentration of golfing anywhere in the world and again pink sand beaches what more do you want okay from there we're heading over to uh, Port Canaveral this is the world of adrenaline pumped fantasy this is your chance to go through to Walt Disney World to maybe uh, to go through to the Magic Kingdom to go to Legoland or Gatorland and watch the Gators wrestling or if you're me definitely Harry Potter World go and drink some yeah, butter beer I, I was there last year Amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's really, so really, real. honestly, it Just really like is. It really is good. I, I'm a bit of a. I, I love pretending to be a wizard, trying out my spells. Um, so, that, so go go and try that without a doubt, or go down to the Space Coast. You can also do that from Port Canaveral, and then. It's not over because you're then going to Miami where you're disembarking the ship, but you've got two nights. And this is what Planet Crews do so well. We, we tailor make passage packages for you. You've got two nights in Miami. And wow. And did I mention I'd just come back from Miami, Keith? And yeah. I'm sure what you did was walk down South Beach having a look at those muscle men and relaxing in the in little I, Havana. I just look so pale and scrawny next to everyone else on the beach. Uh, well, I, I told you I shouldn't have taken my top off, Sean. But the thing <laughs> is, I mean, it's, it's a great place for you to go because you can rent a car and you can head out to Key Biscayne. Uh, you can go and see Millionaire's Row with the homes of Gloria Estefan. And and honestly, Julia it's the most fascinating place and I love all the 1920s original architecture there. So you've got the most incredible journey on this cruise and I, I think you'll agree, Keith, at that price, that is exceptional, isn't it's, it? It's a really, really good price, particularly when you are thinking of the fact that this is a five-star cruise line, and you do notice the difference, Sean, as you attest to. And the lovely thing is, it's a new exclusive package for 2016, so you've got plenty of time just to place a deposit right now and to, you know, save for this to look forward to it. We've got free upgrades from interior to Balfi and tips included when booking the 1st of November departure. That's really good. You get that. So those are tips as well. And one thing to remember with this particular ship, if you go onto the awards, best overall ship, best for cabins, best for dining, best for embarkation, best for fitness, best for public rooms, best for shore excursions. This ship sweeps up time and time again. It does. And you could be on her. Um, the dates, remember to choose from two dates there. Either you could go this year, the 1st of November this year, or we have got, of course, the uh, October date for 2016. I would love to be on it right now. I really, really would. Fantastic. I might actually do that cruise in October of 2016. Might actually do mm. that one. Would love to. Okay, we've still got more to tempt you with, though. Mm. And our next offer is with Royal Caribbean on board the Splendour of the Seas. And this gives you a chance to stay in Lake Como for three nights as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a unique package. I think it's the first time we've featured this yeah, particular package. Yeah, it is. Package. Really Should we great. take you on board? Because I did my first cruise with Royal Caribbean, and uh, I think I've cruised them four times now. Well, they're a great company. Again, this is another American uh, American cruise company uh, like Celebrity. They've been around a long time. And the great thing about Royal Caribbean is the ships are destinations in themselves. Yeah. There's so much to see and do. I mean, you're seeing the kind of golf putting. You're seeing some of the, the children's facilities. And remember, if you're watching this and you've got a family, Cruising is amazing for the family because they get looked after and you can go out and do your own thing and then pick your kids up in the evening and then maybe they can get looked after as well in the evening and you can go and have a romantic meal for two. It is for the whole family. With Royal Caribbean, great food, a selection of different bars for you to enjoy and the big thing that Royal Caribbean have is this word wow and that's because it's the word that most people use constantly as they walk around when they sit and they watch these huge West End Broadway style 
art shows or when maybe they go and enjoy the ice rink uh, and see the great ice, dedicated ice show as well. And they are spectacular, aren't they? They really are. Look at the acrobatics. You saw them tumbling, the tumblers coming down there. And that happens uh, in, in the grand, or, you know, the, the kind of the, the auditoriums uh, right in the centre of the ship. So it really is a fantastic experience. Uh, you've also got the traditional stuff, you know, where you go do the quizzes, you can go and watch the sport in the sports bar, you know, go and have a nice cocktail out on deck soaking up the sun. But really, with Royal Caribbean, they really do and like to innovate. It still amazes me that some people that have never cruised say, oh, I think I might be bored. It's, you know, to me, it seems the most ridiculous thing really to does. say. Because, oh, yeah, a land holiday, stuck in one hotel with the same bar, the same restaurant, the same pool. But you're seeing all these different destinations and you've got a ship that has so many, say, options available for everybody. Loads of options. And yeah. every cabin gets an iPad. Not to keep, I should say that, not to keep, you just get to borrow it, and then what you can do is you can order like late night food, when you're a bit peckish, you come back from the show, not that I did that, <laughs> um, and you can, you, know, you can surf yeah. the web, you can do loads of stuff, it's great. You know, tonight we would love you to just give us a call on that free phone number, 0800 840 1088. So let's, uh, let's talk to where we can be cruising to on this one. So it starts off with, uh, Keith's full of apple now, so it start, I'll take over Keith. No, so a flight to Milan. Yeah, it? a flight to Milan. I mean, you need to go to uh, Lake Como for a, for a three-night stay in a four-star hotel. And this is beautiful. You know, uh, this was favoured for many, many years by the European aristocracy. It's one of the most beautiful landscapes around Italy, great wildlife, spectacular back backdrop of what they call the Gregna Mountains. It's Italy's deepest lake, and um, you'll literally see all the little resort areas sit along sit along the lake edge. It's absolutely stunning. Um, oh, it's get so picturesque. It really, it? really yeah. is. I mean, you, you won't want to do anything other than just sit, soak up a bit of sun, read a book, uh, have a cocktail delivered to you, or maybe get a ferry over and explore the different edges of Lake Como. Or again, hike round up into the mountains and see some of the views. Okay, then after you've had that wonderful, relaxing start, Start, unique start to your to your start of your holiday. You're then going over um, through into Venice. You've got a one night stay in a hotel in Venice. Uh, the one thing we should note here is that you will you will have to. Uh, it's really easy, but quite a simple thing is to get off the train to get to your hotel. Just take the train up there, yeah, and you can do that. Yeah. A couple of euros, and then you get to explore Venice. What Napoleon talked about, the, the, you know, the most elegant drawing room in the whole of Europe, St Mark's Square. St Mark's there is, is incredible. And the Campanile, the views from the Campanile up there are and, stunning. And the lovely thing about you know some cruises, although the cruise out of Venice, you don't actually get much time there, but you have got time here with that one night stay. Yeah, you? you do. That's the that's the amazing thing yeah. here, Sean. And again, you know, 170 islands, 150 canals, over 400 bridges. The best advice for Venice, get lost. Go and find your own part of Venice. Don't worry about even checking a guidebook. Wander off because it's all beautiful. There isn't anything that you won't enjoy in Venice. And then you're transferred from that hotel to port and you invite the splendour of the seas for an, a wonderful, stunning seven-night cruise. You Where's do. Where's first and key? So Kotor is first. Uh, it's incredible, credible uh, walled city. The actual bay that you're sailing into is southern Europe's longest bay, a most dramatic area. And the sailing, you want to be out on deck at least an hour before you arrive. Then you're going to see this walled city. The best advice is to walk the walls and see the views. And inside you've got this wonderful mixture of narrow alleyways and piazzas and churches and palaces and cafes and clubs and bars and restaurants, beautifully car free. Um, look at that stunning, that stunning views there with the mountains in the background. The Maritime Museum is well worth looking at and you can head out if you want onto the enchanting wine road um, and try some of those delicious wines. Okay, then we're going through to Corfu. Corfu, one of the most beautiful wines in the Caribbean, the setting uh, of Shakespeare's The Tempest, millions of silvery olive trees gracing the hillside, the scent of lemon blossom in your nostrils. Great chance to wander down and see the old fortified uh, Corfu old town, see a game of cricket in the old square, maybe head out to the Achillean Palace where they filmed For Your Eyes Only. Then we're going through to Athens, the cradle of Western civilization. Since the 2004 Olympics, very easy to get around thanks to the metro system and the great inter interconnected walkways. You can go up and walk up the, the sun-bleached steps of the Acropolis and see the views from the top of the Parthenon, maybe go and haggle in the Monastraki street markets or just enjoy a nice uh, cheeky drink in one of the wonderful cafes in the Placa district. Incredible place. Come and see the change in the guard as well. This, this is such a, a beautiful part of the world, isn't it? It really is, Sean. It really, really is. And, and it's still not finished because we're going to Mykonos, an island I know you're a big fan of. I um, love it. Iconic windmills dating back to the 16th century, fabulous long beaches, and an irresistible old town known as Hora, which apparently was built to confuse pirates. Certainly confused me. Rawr. And, um, you know, you've even got a lovely um, pelican, which is the, the national symbol of the city, uh, the, the island, and it's got a full time carer. So go and see Patronus the Pelican. That's my advice. That's, the, that's true. It's true, isn't it? yeah. They pay for a full time carer. Yeah.
<laughs> okay, then we go to Kefalonia, Agostoli. Uh, this is great. Oh, I'm going to say here, Captain Corelli's Mandolin. If you've seen the film, you've seen this island. It's incredible to explore. Very, very beautiful. And then a final day at sea to enjoy that fabulous ship. Back to Venice where you disembark. You've got a transfer from port and your flight, of course, back to London. Let's remind you of everything that's included here. Now, this is a brand new exclusive package, of course. You return flights from London. We can always, uh, generally speaking, provide flights from most UK airports. Again, just, just give us a call. We'll talk you through what's available. You get that extra night stay in Venice and... I don't forget, items will differ slightly depending on departure date. And we've got loads of dates to choose from this one. I mean, that just gives you an idea, but we've got May dates right the way through to October as well. And you see lots of the, the upgrades there and not much more. So you know, it might be well worth going for an ocean view or even a balcony there as well. Particularly in October, actually, the difference is very, very small. Now we've got one final cruise to uh, tempt you with. And I know Keith is a very well-travelled man, and you said that the, the ports and the destinations on this one, oh. these are really, <laughs> really they're off the very rare, aren't they? They're yeah. really rare. You know, if you're looking for something new as a cruiser, you've done loads of different areas, then this is certainly for you. This is amazing. Well, it's, it's a biggie, this one. So I'll pay attention, Keith. It starts off with... A flight to Singapore, doesn't it? That's right, and you've got a two-night stay in a five-star hotel in Singapore. Singapore is a wonderful place full of um, high-rise buildings, Chinese shop houses with red-tiled roofs, sturdy Victorian buildings, Buddhist temples and Arab bazaars. Great for the shopping, for duty-free. Amazing chance to go and see, um, well, what can I say, the, the, the famous zoo. Over 900 different nocturnal animals. In fact, do the zoo do the zoo in the evening. It's one of the best yeah, things to do. I've heard that. Um, you can go through and see the what they call the, the Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. This is one of the only cities in the world, there's only two of them, that has virgin rainforest. And that's where it is at the Nature Reserve there at Bukit. It's a beautiful place to go and relax. If you want to go to the beach, go to Sentosa Island. Marina Bay Sands, it took three months to raise it up and put that on top of those three skyscrapers. And you can sit there having a cocktail in the, in, in the man-made kind of beach, artificial beach there in the water, looking out over the whole of Singapore. Raffles Hotel, heart of the Singapore sling, go and throw your nuts on the floor. Uh, and just, you know, knock back that Singapore sling and enjoy the culture of raffles and many, many more. It's an incredible place. Uh, I'm it sounds like a lot of fun as well, yeah. It really is. Yeah. And it's great shopping as well, Sean. You'd love it. Orchard Road, Gucci, yeah. Vuitton. Oh, yeah. Really good. Uh, and that's just the start, isn't it? It really is, because then you transfer from the hotel onto the ship, Holland America, another five-star American cruise line, for 16 nights cruising. Okay. Do you want to see how good the ships are? I remember, you, I remember yeah, when you came back from this filming, Keith, you loved it. Have mm. a little taste now of the beautiful ship you're going to be on board for 16 nights. Amidst the huge choice that's now available within cruising, Honda America Line offers an experience that's quite unique. It's premium class, but not pretentious. It's elite without being expensive. And with a proud history stretching back over 140 years, Holland America Line is perfect for the discerning traveller who loves to see the world from the comfort of an elegant hotel at sea. Known for the most extensive menus at sea, served gracefully in elegant restaurants. Thank you. Honda America Line offer a plethora of excellent dining options. In the main dining rooms, guests may choose from fixed or flexible dining times, and the service is always gracious and the menu both varied and delicious. Fans of Italian food will salivate at the offerings from Canaletto's, and everyone will enjoy the steak and seafood of the wonderful Pinnacle Grill. Enjoying a few drinks in the company of friends, both old and new, is one of the highlights of any cruise. For some, it might be a glass of bubbly or a tasty martini in mix, whilst for others, a pre-show tipple in the ocean bar will be just what the doctor ordered. Whichever location you choose, expert bartenders will remember your preferred cocktail, or they'll help you discover a new favourite. On America's latest trump card is On Location, which brings the ports you visit alive through regionally inspired cookery classes, artisan workshops and local entertainment. You can experience steel drum lessons in the Caribbean or Tai Chi classes in Asia or a legendary ketchup dance in Bali. The evenings on board glitter with so many choices, with live music, thrilling stage shows, and the ever-popular Dancing with the Stars at Sea program. Bored? <laughs> Not a chance. It's about getting the little things right, and nowhere is this more obvious than the accommodation. All Holland America Line staterooms have premium plush Eurotop mattresses, 100% Egyptian cotton bed linens, extra fluffy towels, and deluxe terry bathrobes. Recent additions include innovative massage shower heads, lighted magnifying makeup mirrors, and stylish hair dryers. And of course, your complimentary fruit basket. <laughs> see, I'm thoughtful. I knew you liked apples. You Kate. did. You I see? know. I've, that's how long I've been on a diet for. Ever since I've done that. You know. <laughs>
It's all I eat apples. <laughs> well, it's worked anyway. Uh, so, uh, now on a serious note, though, we're, we've been to Singapore. Now you've embarked that beautiful ship, and you're going to have the trip of a lifetime. Keith, talk us through this one. It's yeah, uh, this is incredible. Okay, stand by. Here we go. Trip of a lifetime. So you're heading out. Your first port of call is Tangjung Priok, which is your chance to go through to the mighty city of Jakarta. Um, it's, it's Indonesia's largest city, of course. There's 18,000 Indonesian islands. 18,000. You're going to do some of them, not all of them, on this cruise. Uh, I would say rather than go to Jakarta, I prefer going out to Bogor. There you can go to the Tandem Safari park where you can see rhinoceros and Chinese bears and albino tigers. Uh, you can also go to the Gunung Mas Teed Plantation which is amazing and uh, and also head out to the Bogor Botanical Garden which is one of the oldest of its kind. 17,000 different types of flowers and orchids yeah, to explore. Sir Ramford Staffles. Uh, Sir Ramford Staffles. <laughs> Sir Stamford Raffles. The, cha the chap of Raffles Hotel is named after in Singapore. Oh, really? he, actually, he actually did this and actually built it for his wife. Okay, wow. then we're going out relaxing day at sea before you're going to Probolong go. This is, um, sorry, actually cancel that. Semarang is first. I'm getting too excited. This is Java. You know that wonderful coffee island where, you know, where we, which is so famed for its beautiful dark beans? This is it. This is your chance when you're in Semarang to go out to the largest Buddhist temple in the world at Bodhidapur. You've seen pictures of it here and it was literally covered in volcanic, volcanic ash for nearly a millennium. It was discovered in 1814. It was pillaged by treasure hunters for lots of years and then in 1973 they rest restored it. Look at it. It's stunning. The views are great from there as well. Relax day at sea before we then go to Probolingo. This is East Java, the other side of the island. Very mountainous, great chance for you to go and enjoy the Mount, Mount Brumo and the huge um, uh, Madakapura waterfall. You've also got more Buddhist temples dating back to the 14th century. That's the Madakapura waterfall. Look at that, it's stunning. Um, it's over, over 600 foot, Sean. And you get a chance to, to enjoy bull racing. Bull racing is really big here, uh, and they actually feed the bulls, and they actually kind of they give them like a really comfy life, massages and all sorts. Uh, relaxing day at sea. Before you then go through to Unjung Padang. This is the island of Sulawesi, um, and this is uh, been a thriving port for silk and tea and porcelain from China for many many years. Some of the best scuba diving in the world if you're a diver like me, and stunning mountains in what they call the Tana Tolaja Highlight uh, Highlands. Great hiking, great views, lots of rainforest for you to enjoy. Then it gets better. You're then going from here to um, Makassar, and this basically it's, it's, it's a narrow channel which you'll say you know what you're sailing through on the way, and you're going to see um, from Makassar a wonderful opportunity to see the solar eclipse. It is weather permitting, but you're going to get you're going to get a good uh, four minutes or so where it's going to be completely blanked out. Really? Yeah. Then from there, after the solar eclipse, we've got a relaxing day at sea before we then go to Komodo Island. That's what you're seeing now. I can Komodo see Island. Um, the whole place is like a huge nature reserve. Stepping, it's like stepping back into the, the land that time forgot. You're going to see these boys, the biggest lizards in the world. They're up to 300 pounds heavy, grow up to 10 foot long. Uh, and they hunt in packs, Sean. They're really good fun. And then you go through finally to Bali. That's probably the most well-known of the islands. Um, it's incredible. Undulating hills, thick with terraced with rice paddies and fields of banana and coffee. Miles of pristine beaches, beautiful temples for you to explore. And lots of cheeky monkeys that swing through in the cork forests uh, and that kind of... Um, enjoy the temples that are dedicated to Hanuman, the monkey god. Definitely go and see um, the Ketchuk, which is the fire dance. And I know, Keith, you've, you've got to be really quick on this, but that gives you a little flavour, a little taste. Yeah, again, please get in touch. If you want more details, I have to be so quick on this because we've got so much to get in. Um, but it's an incredible place for you to go and enjoy. You're getting some more images here in Bali, um, just to such a beautiful island. There's so much to show you. And, and there, that's the that's the uh, that's, that's the, the, the monkeys I was talking to you about. And all bad, it's all bad monkey forest. That's where you find them. Um, a trip of a lifetime, I think. One of the, the, the best cruises Keith's ever seen in terms of destination, and I, I think we agree, we really trust his opinion on this. Uh, the price there, bear in mind, you are with three weeks, you've got that amazing itinerary, £2,414 per person. That includes all of you turn flights. Oh, I forgot to mention, everyone that books right now, you get that free $200 on board spend as well. A real chance to see the solar eclipse there. How incredible would that be? And of course, overnight on board in Singapore as well. The uh, ID number there is 85180, by the way. 85180. Do you know, I've had such fun. Um, but it is that time where we're going to recap all of the great deals that we've had live during the show. We started off with 
an exceptional offer from Cruise and Maritime. Their, their latest addition to the fleet here, uh, an adult only ship price of it, so new late saver offer. 469 per person. Great single special there at 729. Uh, and the ID number there is 87534. We then moved on to one of the best prices we have ever, ever seen in our history for a Caribbean cruise. And you can imagine how quickly this one is selling. It's with P&O. It's on board. They're stunning Ventura. You're seeing the correct price there, 849. My advice, I'd go for Balcony at 999 if you can on that one, saving £400 off the brochure price. Then Chris joined us from Planet Cruise and he talked us through this incredible ship, the Regal Princess, less than a year old, and your chance of being on board her for that 11-night Scandinavian Russia cruise there, under £1,200. Beautiful itinerary there. Uh, great price on the Balcony as well. The number there is 78548. Celebrity, just come back from my Celebrity Cruise. This ship, the Eclipse, is multi-award winning. And wow, look at the itinerary here. It's the Broadway and Beaches with Miami Stay. I might book this one myself uh, for the 2016 date. And there, uh, the price is under £1,500 for five-star modern luxury. Royal Caribbean on board the Splendor of the Seas. That's the 11-night uh, Lake Como stay in the Greek Isle cruise. Again, lovely uh, destinations tonight there. And that price there is £1,149. And it's 92123. That's the ID number. And then we just finished with the trip of a lifetime on board.